I am, Prince. I'm enjoying my Sunday morning stroll through the African wilderness. It's been absolutely beautiful. I've had a wonderful drive. It's been nice to spend time with the dogs, and now it's just kind of winding down and spending a bit of time in Chitwadam and watching what goes on around here. So there's the hippos that are busy taking it very easy. I think they're enjoying a bit of sunshine after two or three very cold days. I think it's nice for them just to see a little bit of the sun and so a lot of them are basking in that and just taking it very easy. Now it looks as though it's a very deep section of the dam because it's quite far out but actually where they are is quite shallow. Most of those hippos will be actually lying down not even standing. It's an area that looks a lot deeper and in fact two years ago when it was the drought that tree where the hippos are lying around would is actually the edge of the water hole so that was where the water actually finished is just on the other side of that tree and this was all dry land to our right hand side so it's not very deep there at all it's it's just enough for a hippo to lie down and for their backs to be exposed slightly now you can see the buffalo weavers and egyptian geese are on the island which is a typical place for a lot of the birds to spend and that egyptian goose is just taking it very easy there is a lot of buffalo weavers going crazy above them as well they're building away feverishly and prepping their nests and then around us are lots of different swallow species so we've got you know we've got these lesser striped swallows that are flying around in this area and kind of coming past us and moving around the top of the water and drinking there's a couple wire-tailed swallows as well that are also here so a number of different ones well done vm that's very good What's that flying in the background there as well? There seems to be another big bird of prey, which will make li VM's life a lot easier than a swallow, that's for sure. So I'm just trying to look. Yes, it's a hooded vulture. Well done, VM. So a hooded vulture that's also flying around. So lots of different bird species that are all over the place at Chitra Dam. And that's why I was saying earlier, if you're a birder and you want to see a lot of birds, here is one of the best places just to come and spend a morning. Lots of activity around us. There's all these different species that are just kind of gliding along in the morning sunshine which is absolutely wonderful the one thing i haven't seen since i've been sitting here is i haven't seen any of the green-backed herons now normally green-backed herons are close to the island on my left hand side but it seems as though none of them are around today which is a little bit of a shame i like the green-backed herons i like watching them go about their business and find food and try and sort of catch all kinds of little fish and so maybe they're on the other side they also like to spend time in the corner on that side now Josh, yes, this is where Vlad does occur. He is in this water hole, or she, should I say, and at the moment, no sign of her. So maybe it's a little bit on the cold side still, and we'll eventually kind of find somewhere to come out onto the banks a little bit later, but no sign of Vlad at the moment. There is another bird that I can see just on the edge of the water. It's kind of moving around onto the other sort of side of this half, or this crescent shape. So there's actually two of them. There's two sort of plover-like creatures. So there is the one which is the three, oh no, it's not the three-banded plover, that looks like the common plover, and I can, sorry, common sandpiper. I'm just trying to see nicely, I've got so much glare on my screen, it's probably going to be better if I use my binoculars to actually have a look at that individual and just double check. Hmm, it's not a common at all, I just want to see if it's got the white eye stripe. I wonder if this is not a green sandpiper. Hold on, I just want to double check this because there's three different types of sandpipers that all look fairly similar and they're quite difficult sometimes to kind of see. There's obviously a bit of variation. The common sandpiper is the easiest one because it's got a nice big round C on its shoulder where the wing joins basically and so very easy to kind of see there. Now I just want to double check on this individual because green sandpipers are not the most common sandpipers that we get in the world and or in this particular area and so I want to just double check hmm I think it is a wood sandpiper though unfortunately I was hoping it would be this individual so if you have a look these are the two birds that I'm talking about and why they can be so difficult to ID if you if you have a look here this is the wood sandpiper on top it's got this white eye stripe that comes past the little black near the eye but the green has the exact same thing except the green sandpiper the white doesn't extend past the eye on the wood sandpiper it goes past the eye on the green it stays there also the green has a lot more of a spotted kind of neck and bars that come down past the wing whereas the wood sandpiper tends to have a lot more stripes on the top 
then spots in. So that's how you kind of tell the difference between the two. They are exactly the same size. There is no size difference between them, so not one is bigger than the other. But I just want to try and get another look at this bird because this bird looks a little bit odd to me. The other one that we get is this common sandpiper, and this is the one that I was talking about. As you see that the white kind of curls around the wing and gives you that backward C that you see over there and it could be one of those because it just might be that the way it's sort of walking towards us it's difficult to actually see that sort of shape on the wing itself so I'm going to have another little look and just double check because it should be coming much closer to me now it's sitting there so actually if you have a look on the left you can see there's a wood sandpiper coming along on the left in the water itself so the little wood sandpiper is the one that's there in the water and then the other one is on the right hand side and you can see the other one has a very different look about it it's much more bright white and it doesn't it's a slightly smaller bird so come on turn for me one more time so it looks like a common sandpiper it's just that the sea was not that visible so a common and a wood sandpiper very very nice now we just need the green side and piper to come along and we'll have all of them that we see here i was actually the other day referring to another sandpiper species that is very rare that has been seen recently in the kruger park called a pectoral sandpiper and i was hoping with the storm that came in that maybe it would get flushed this way and pushed into our area but alas it seems as though it hasn't happened and the pectoral sandpiper i have not found it yet but hopefully